so we're down here in Surfside Beach, Surfside, Texas. Even folks from Houston aren't familiar with this market, but it's a great market. We got in here, I think, three years ago now? Yeah, 2019, about, 2019. About 19, and then just started buying stuff down here, and uh, love the little community. It is a, uh, as Rob, probably the most apt description is what Rob says, it's a beach town from the 70s. But over the last three years, we've seen massive amounts of development and lots of money poured into this community. So we are uh, reaping those benefits. The houses have literally doubled in less than two years. Yes. The community is less than 800, 800 properties. There's nothing down here. And most of the lots have been bought up. And it's uh, an hour from Houston. Take that off. It's never gonna leak. <laughs> it's one of my favorite houses we've bought out of the 1,500 houses. Oh, it's great in here. I was kind of worried it's gonna be a little rough. types of piers or pilings you'll hear them called pilings we've got the ones that are just for the deck and that's the first set here and then the back nine are the one that actually hold the set that actually hold up the house so these are all soaked in creosote which is kind of like uh, what they use for railroad ties and it, when they start to hollow out then you got to replace about thirty five hundred dollars for each one and it looks like the worst one is the one here in the back erosion we're getting right here it's really not that bad so we may just come in and replace these three or four it's not as bad as I thought I got the pictures and I was like this is crazy but yeah so all in all pretty good deal yeah so we bought this one for 380 back in September we think it's worth 500 now so I just contracted that one for 500 um, and it's got one less bathroom two owners ago uh, the owner owned this one and that one, so it's kind of cool. It's kind of coming back full circle. So this is it. Palatial Estate, a 2-1, 630 square feet. Great bargain base with price of 500 grand. And it, I don't know, man, it might actually be crazy. came down here, I bought four houses on Thunder. We'll drive by there. We still own them. This one, Rays, and then I, we bought all those other ones on the outside of the island, and then we picked this one up. I went on an absolute tear. <laughs> Duplexes. Grab it all. Can we get a deal on electrical panels? We do this one, the other two. Wow. He's got to get that done. So that's, uh, a, that's the kitchen. That's the kitchen. Yeah. Could be the washer and dryer right here. Yeah. yeah. That's probably the washer and dryer. 
Yeah. There's a leak. That's why we there's no water now. So we shut it off. So he's coming down Monday. He'll do that, fix the leak, and then fix that board. Hey, I'm feeling a little nostalgic here. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of going old right. school, isn't it? Yeah, we're getting rid of this. It's the cycle of life. She said two weeks will have an offer. Oh, uh, yeah. She said we'll have an offer in two weeks. So one to one like crazy. Okay. So how we got down here, I'm sitting in the hot tub drinking beers, and uh, Rob has a saying, two, three, four, what you looking for? Yeah. And uh, I was just cruising around down here at Surfside, and I've been down here a million times. And I see a single family house, 400 and something square feet for like 380 grand, 340 grand, something like that. I'm like, this doesn't look right. Open it up. It's actually four houses on one lot. Yeah. And they're willing to do owner financing called him and bought it and that's how we got into Surfside. Then we just started buying everything down here. The gal that owned that property uh, is a high speed realtor down here. She knows everybody. So we would come down or she would, I'd send her a text say like, hey, I'm coming down with some friends. You wanna do fajitas on the beach, drink some beers on a Tuesday. She goes, well, let me show you some houses. She would literally take me to properties that were like not even pre-listed. They were like, oh, these are some friends of mine. They're thinking about maybe selling. That's how we bought Crane. Yeah. Uh, Ray's was listed. That's how we bought Ocean. In fact, I had Ocean under contract. Then it's down. That's no, not down here. Next one. Uh, I had Ocean under contract, and then it, I, I backed out of the deal. And then a year later, next I got one, it. One, one, I got it back one. under contract for the number that worked. Uh, that's not it, is it? No, yeah, keep, oh, the cow's gone. I can't find it. Uh, yeah, it's on. It's oh, right before the cow. It's right, right here. Yeah. yeah. We really looked at the deal because of the size of the lot. Almost bought that one. Somebody bought it. It's a duplex. Yeah, this guy's selling his piece of junk down too, actually, so we did. So we, that's my renovated one right there, the orange one. That's that's 300 Ocean. We bought that for less than 10 grand over the lot, which is, it's this lot over here that sold. We already sold that one? Yeah, it's gone. Okay. Nice. It's a little, I got a little. Yeah, someone's gonna enjoy that. Someone's really gonna enjoy really nice. My only problem with this place is there's no other commerce. Oh, yeah, that's... Like, there's nothing else to do down There's no art gallery, there's no jewelry no. store, there's no women boutique, there's no... ceramic place, you know? Yeah. Well, you know, I go to the city council meetings, and I'm like, we do need that, you know, Surfside commerce and restoration group so we can build a, a boardwalk somewhere. And I think the perfect place to do it... <coughs> was actually on the city side because then you take all the single family you buy a bunch of the single family up but you take them off the sewer and the commercial stuff really doesn't have that much uh draw on this at least on the wastewater side yeah we'll go for that. what is going on at sharky's this used to be a really cool place when i would come down here we bought thunder I go over to Sharky's, I'll never forget, it was like a Tuesday. I made all the way around Galveston, so we had bought the four units in Galveston. Then I drove all the way from Galveston here, which is about an hour. And I pull up, it's like 10.30 in the morning. And I'm like, oh, Sharky's is open. So I grab my laptop, I walk upstairs, and there's people sitting there smoking cigars and drinking, and they look at me like, who the hell are you? And it was all the locals. Mm -hmm. Like, they already serving drinks before noon, so. 12, 13, 14, 15. We bought 15 doors down here. <laughs> Which is about a year's worth of inventory. Yeah. So we own this one right. Did we sell this already? It's under contract. Yeah. Okay. So we sold this one, and then we sold this one to a mastermind. Yeah. He's crushing it on that thing. Almost bought this one. What was Walked one over it. here? The low one. We almost bought. There was here. another one over here. Almost. Yeah. I looked at. Almost bought. This low one. <laughs> yep. Walked that one. Mm -hmm. Well, we got Chewy, so we got 15, 16 doors. Yeah, Chewy's over here. Chewy got one. And Dirks is right there, the white one coming up. Yep, that's Dirks. Other mastermind. It's a two unit, 17 <clears throat> doors. I think it's close to it's close to 30 when you put it all, at least in the mid-20s. Mm -hmm. I really wish they had sold us that UFO house. Mm -hmm. It's just sad they had to tear it down. I don't oh, know. that place was sick. Yeah, they, so it was us and another guy, and uh, we made a lot of promises to the seller. We said, look, we're not gonna tear it down, we're gonna renovate it, we're gonna build a master suite off the back, it's gonna be incredible. 
and they ended up going with this other offer and it sat for literally a year. And then I see on the Surfside group, they're out there bulldozing <coughs> it. So the guy that owned it was kind of a patriarch of the, of the island. I think he was a pastor or something. I and mean, he'd been here most of his life. And uh, they ended up tearing it down. I was like, oh man, there are some pissed off people in Surfside today. Own that one. That's for sale. That one's for sale, that green one. Almost bought, this is Kathy's old place. Yeah. She's like, if you want it, you have it. There's our four right there. And here are our, oh, I haven't seen them since they got all, yeah. got their new colors. <laughs> this was our first. So for me down at Surfside, I'm just buying stuff that's actually on the beach and I'm keeping these four. This is uh, Thunder. So when I showed Rob the deal, he's like, we gotta buy it because it's on Thunder Road. I'm like, why is that? He's like, the Bruce Springsteen. Bruce Springsteen's on Thunder Road, man. <laughs> Thunder Road, man. You gotta, you gotta keep it. So that's us. They look good, finally. Yeah. Took a lot of work. Got <laughs> them good, though. So four units there, they rent between 1,000 and 1,500 a door a month. They're all long term. Refi this thing with no money out of pocket. Man, 300k, that's awesome. I showed him last night. And I was like, let's just assume I go and hit my mark at 5.5 cap, and let's just say bump this up 10% the NOI. We did the math. And I'm like, that's my deal. And everyone goes. It was like looking at me. I'm like, how do we do it? I'm like, well. You write a fifteen thousand dollar check for the mastermind. And I was like, that's what I said. I was like, you, you, I don't think you can do it alone. I think you need to be in our group. I love it, Dad. Look at this. Yeah, that's a nice one. This sexy little thing. on this get it up in a little a little bit more Spray it a little more a little bit more you can see some of it didn't quite get I can see a little bit see the oh yeah it is dirt too yeah. it looks nice you busted out the old tile Oh wow. You busted the old tile? Yeah, I removed it. Oh my god, how long that take? I don't like that. Yeah, I don't like it either, but that's a fucking it's lot of work. Hard, bro. Yeah. Yeah, there's no way. Are right, we on those two? Oh. oh. That one Okay. That oh, one. and the blue one. Yep. When we buy them, mm -hmm. it looks like this. 
I think we bought like 20 of these things down here. Oh. Yeah. Watch your step here. Camera guy. This is what they look like. Careful, these floors are real soft. There's holes in it. You can see it in here. But this is what they look like when buy them. Warts and all. This is, this is the worst of the worst. Most investors won't do stuff like this. Most investor friendly contractors won't do it either. I mean, you can see. Oh my God. I was telling Clayton, this is about what they look like when we buy them. Yeah, this is what they look like. But we get them for 30,000 a door. Yeah. And we wind up putting 40, 45 in, so we're at 75 and then we're in for 800. It's one percent rule over and over. Yeah, all day long. They just terrify people, right? Yeah, and I don't blame them. This isn't easy. Fuck. No, you know what you do, dude? What's that? I'll tell you right now. You fucking put a wall right here, and this is my third bedroom. Oh. Okay. You got a yeah. little three, one, two, three, living room. Got th three, three bedrooms. And take this out. So this is all living room. Oh, uh, this might be kitchen. This might be. This was, this was the front of the house originally. Yeah, yeah, this is a load bearing. Okay. You can close that up. Close that up. Close that up. You come in here. You got the kitchen. Got a little living area. You got bedroom one, bedroom two, bedroom three, and whatever they want to do in this area here. The free flowing living. Whatever. Room. If you could open this, yeah, you could talk to. Yeah, that's probably. Better. I think open this. You can open that, so you're gonna have to do structural here, uh -huh. and then run that wall like right along this wall here. Okay. And so this becomes one big living area. Right. How wide can we go? Is it eight feet? Well, he's going to have to do their structure. Just go from here to here, put a column on each side, yeah. and head it across, and then, yeah. Um, and then, yeah, you got all this open, bedroom one, two, three. The three bedrooms, they did us a favor. Damn, I like this. Sweet sunglasses, that is. Jordash. Crappy finding these houses. Hey, everybody, we're up buying grubby houses today. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to move in? <laughs> so we have the before, before and after. After. We'll replace that door and do a couple other things. But you tell it's a two garages, unit right here, and then there's a unit on the other side. Two units. and the one bath. Keep that bathtub over there. Yeah, big, big cast iron tub. Oh. Yeah, this is a, dude, look at this. Like the foundation here was crazy. Literally, you were walking and you were doing this. <laughs> look at it, I mean, it was, look at that, it Man. was wild. And how the tiles pop, it's kind of, it's kind of crazy. Yeah, look at this, I mean, it was, that's a pier. So that's what that, whenever they do interior piers, that's what it looks like. So it's probably a shit ton of exterior piers. But look at it. I mean, it just, this just, just completely popped the plaster out. Yeah, every corner. Look at that. Look at that. Wild. It was absolutely wild in here. Um, this is a 4-2. 4-2. Quick look. Yeah, this will get 17, 1800 bucks a month. Uh, let's go next door. I'm more interested in seeing the one next door. Oh, this is beautiful. Thank you. No, I don't think it's bad at all. Fuck the cabinets, still got the shrink wrap on. Yeah, this will work. Yeah, this will work all day long. You got any of these yet? Uh, yeah. Clean it up. Change out one of those light switches right maybe one of the door. But you're almost there. Like I said, I think maybe four days, five days. Want to see the problem with the house? I'll show you the problem. Yeah, look at it. 
This is the high point. Yeah. Mm. See the slope there? You can feel it when you're walking. It's more pronounced in the bathroom. Yeah. You can feel it this way. Whee! Mm -hmm. But it's not so out of tolerance. Yeah. It's just a little bit. It's like maybe an inch, three quarters of an inch. Yeah. So do you do it now or do you just wait five minutes? Oh, here we go. You feel it zip around that corner? Yeah, you can feel it, right? Whee! who did it and then sort of fly by night guy and he's not going to honor anything of his yeah. work and then we come in we still see there's foundation problems they try and sell it to other people no one buys can't it. pass fha uh, can't pass inspection they come back to us 110 110 g's per duplex twenty thousand dollars to touch up new roof new air conditioning we're in a 130 one they're both three ones they're going to rent for a thousand bucks a side eleven hundred dollars a side 2200 a month on uh, 150 G, 130 Gs. Oh, but I don't know. This doesn't sound like there's any good deals left, bro. Can't find any deals. Can't find any deals. All right, Clayton, that's, that's our shit. That's what it looks like. Now <laughs> here. Take it from that piece of shit with the holes in the floor to look like this. In a neighborhood like this, buy the worst shit in the neighborhood. I think. This is a, probably the best way to conclude this thing is, you're not an expert, you're never gonna be an expert. It's gonna take you 10 years to become an expert in this stuff. You hire us to tell you what to do. You can ask all the questions you want, or you can be rich or you can be right. That is the, <coughs> Jason, why did a beach house go from $380,000 to 500? <coughs> Does it really matter? tell you it doesn't really matter you just need to go and do it get on all the facebook bullshit you can read some economist that's never bought a single family house before everything that's wrong with everything right and there's you know, always find an excuse yeah what yeah that's what you said last week was you can always find an excuse not to buy a house not to buy an apartment complex not to buy a storage facility or office building i was explaining that whole thing yesterday about the office building crazy. You're a real estate guru who's allegedly been in real estate forever. You don't own the office you're in. It's like, come on, man. They're not that, they're not that expensive. If you bought it 20 years ago when you got started, I was hearing some, I was getting some really interesting stories from a business broker. He said, you would be amazed how many businesses that are pretty big and prominent in Houston don't own their own real estate. And it's absolutely crazy. Always buy the real estate. Not in real estate, you're in business. You always buy the real estate. Always buy a building. Buy something. To how's your staff? Yeah. So you know, we're done with that little pocket there. We, we went to Surfside three years ago. Bought twenty some odd doors. Us and folks in the mastermind. And that market doubled in three years, pulling our 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 capital out. We found another little pocket here in Freeport. We're investing heavy. We're just about done buying down there, acquiring, doing the rehabs, getting them rented, watching that property value go up and up and up and up, just like any other area that starts appreciating. So, no, no secret here, just gotta go do it.